Nation, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Nice run, and he's brought down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. How about that run? Old-fashioned football. Definitely just give it to the fullback and let him grind it out for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 43. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play-action pass. to move the ball against this defense. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive nice run up the middle Brad you just don't see this very often anymore in college football that is their fifth first down on this drive alone they have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines for the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. Pitch play to the left. And down he goes at about the seven-yard line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. This is the 10th play of this drive. On play action. Quick strike and he drops it. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. play with this defense here's the tight end drops and they lose possession on down you know that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going now they need a big play here from their defense you really can't say enough about this defense fourth and short and they really showed up on that play 
The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. After a decent run up the gut. It's second down. They're deep in their own territory. And he's tackled to the 13 yard line. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own nine. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down around the 14-yard line. it out this one will fall incomplete nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down yeah instead of going for the interception they did the safe thing and that was just to tip it away woods awaits the snap <laughs> tackle made at the 49 This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He fires right side. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. the 16-yard line. The offense needs something new down here in the red zone. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We've played one quarter. Still no score. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Tackled after a decent pickup. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. And he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 50-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He 
He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Here they come. He goes out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Got him, but he's going to lose yards here. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 36. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. First of all, clip it. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's to the 40. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. The Tigers saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. They'll go with a counter. Tackle at about the 31. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's on the run. The ball is loose. Picked up by the defense. So the ball will change hands, and it'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen. And you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Caught, open field, brought down at the 24-yard line. 
So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 24. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Throws complete, big loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. makes his way to about the 28. You know, the offense dug themselves such a big hole on this series that they come up short here on third down. This is a nice run on third down and long. The problem is they have so far to go to pick up a first down that they bring up the fourth down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Right? Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He chucks it downfield. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. This offense is trying to put the memory of that fumble on their last red zone trip behind them here. And they push him out at the five. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. And the linemen are doing a great job of keeping the initial tacklers away and getting a good downfield push. I know that's helped him a lot today. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown. need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three play, 55 yard drive. And the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Hollis's performance here in the first half is just not what we're used to seeing. And I think right now everybody's kind of looking around in that huddle saying, who's going to help the cause? Because he's not getting it done. Not at all. And this is really where you find out what this offense as a group is made of. It's one thing on a week to rely on your star running back when he's having a great game. But when he's off. Who can step up? You know, if I'm the quarterback of this offense, I'm looking around, and I'm challenging some of the other guys in that huddle to take some of the heat off of this running back. Now, you never know. He could catch fire in the second half, but at this point, they need to make some kind of adjustment. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're gonna kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're gonna get embarrassed on Monday now. Oh man, did he take a hit? The Tigers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. 
I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Strike to his receiver, no good. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14-0, Tigers. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. All week long, when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you've got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Well, this corner isn't the biggest guy on the field, but he made a nice tackle there. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Didn't get all of that one. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He 
gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Makes it to the 34. at the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 16. First and 10. Ball on the 16. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That'll make it second and four. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down. Four down. 86 to me. 86 to me. Motion. 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 Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. They're about four yards away here on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Wow, that was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an island. From the one yard line, it's second down. And they're in, touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He makes the PAT, an eight-play, 59-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 21-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. And he's taken down at the 22. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. Blocking wasn't there. And down he went. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Throws incomplete. Intended for his wide outs. He's hit and taken down. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Gives it to the back. And they make the stop at the 44. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Here's the give. Decent run here, right side. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Mike four. Finish. 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 
They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Scoops it out. Gets to about the 41-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. made at about the 45 a four yard loss this defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play 10th play of the drive Tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he hits him hard at the 24. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with a three touchdown advantage. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 17-yard line, first down. Tackle at the 14-yard line. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. catch but he didn't get the first down yeah well, right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down nice run and he's brought down first down chance for three or seven here first and goal inside the five side. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. And this is the 18th play of the drive. The short yardage defense here. And he is drilled at the two. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. They go to the ground game, and he gets the touchdown. And he 
hits the PAT. And down he goes at the 42. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. The coaches rave about this guy's athletic ability and his vision. You can see the hole before it seems to even open, and then he has the quickness to explode through. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes his way to about the 28. the 17-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Gains his way to the 7-yard line. There's a missed tackle. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. The Spartans using their third and final timeout. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. They'll give it off here. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. Tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 43-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. They line up to kick this one away. Hollis takes it at the 16. The Spartans thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Just over a minute left. He lets it fly. And he's leveled at the 34-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Got it, and brought down immediately. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Going for it all to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. So we're just about ready to return to action. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. From the 43-yard line, second down. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.